Now see Coulomb's law. So we have to study here actually the force acting between two charges. Suppose you have taken first charge Q1 here, another charge Q2. Both are here positively charged. These two are the point charges. Distance between their center is R. So this will apply force on this, that is a repulsive force acting to this side, that is F21, force on 2 due to 1. And here also the force is acting here, F12, force on 1 due to 2, that is also a repulsive force. If you are taking a negative charge Q1, and here you have taken negative charge Q2, both are again separated by the same distance R, here again is repulsive force F21 and there is F12. Suppose you have, if you have taken here one negative charge Q1 and one here positive charge Q2. Both are the point charge separated by the distance R. Here the force is acting here F21 but this is negative, this is positive so this is being attracted to this side so F21 to this side and F12 to this side. So when these two charges are like charges, these like charges, then there is a repulsion. So we can say in these two cases here, we can write Q1, Q2 is greater than 0. If you multiply these two, you will be getting Q1 into Q2 greater than 0. And here in this case, Q1 into Q2 is less than 0. So in this case, force of repulsion. And in this case, force of attraction. So, the magnitude of these two forces, these are the mutual forces. So, the magnitude of these two forces like F21 is equal to F12 is equal to F. So, the magnitude of these two forces are directly proportional to product of the magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the distance between square of the distance between these two charges. So, according to Coulomb's law, the force acting between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them and this force acts along the line joining the centers of the two charges. So, now we have written F is proportional to product of the magnitude of the charges and proportional to 1 upon R square. We can combine these two, we can write here F is proportional to Q1, Q2 divided by R square or we can write F is equal to K. K is proportionality constant here, Q1, Q2 upon R square. Value of K is here, that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. 9 into 10 raised to power 9 Newton meter square per coulomb square. Now here this epsilon naught, epsilon naught is called absolute permittivity, absolute permittivity of free space. Value of epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 raised to power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square. So, this is the electrostatic force acting between the two point charges. This force can be attractive as well as repulsive depending on the sign of the charges. So, this is actually a scalar form of the Coulomb's law.